My garden is in full swing right now and that includes the cherry tomatoes. So today I'm gonna to be showing you all of the cherry tomato varieties I'm growing in my garden this year. So I'm in my kitchen today and we're gonna be doing a 2018 roundup of all of the cherry tomatoes that I'm growing this year in my Virginia Zone 7 garden. And I'm really excited to do this because many of you know that tomatoes are my number one favorite food. I love eating them, I love growing them, and I like to call myself the tomato queen for that reason. And one thing I really like about growing tomatoes is that I get to grow all kinds of different varieties, different shapes and sizes and colors and flavors. And I think that's really cool because you get this nice mixture of different things and you get to grow things that you can't find at your grocery store or maybe even at your farmer's market. So I have a selection of all of the varieties from my garden this year and we're gonna go through them and I'm gonna tell you all about them. So this is the overview. I have one of each type here and we'll just go through and I'll tell you a little bit about each one and what I like about them and what I think overall. So um, let's kind of start here. So this one right here, this is called a uh, Mexico Midget. I have grown this in my garden every single year. As you can see, it is a teeny tiny tomato. Um, you can see it here in my hand, but also compared to the other tomatoes that I have here here and I like this one because it is super cute and tiny and just that nice bright red color but it also starts producing before anything else I think because it is so small so this is a really good one if you want a lot of little tomatoes um, or if you want something that's going to be a little bit earlier these are usually the first ones in my garden uh, to ripen though that is changing a little bit and we'll talk about that as we go on to the other tomatoes okay so next variety this here is the purple bumblebee so this this is a striped tomato as you can see it's got red and then this green striping and I think it kind of has almost like a silvery sheen almost like a dullness to it that is a little different from other tomatoes which I think is really cool now these taste good they're not my favorite in terms of flavor flavor but they have a good flavor uh, and they have this really cool coloring so that combination of appearance and a pretty good flavor and pretty good productivity makes them a winner for me and I've grown these for a couple years now now, one new tomato in my garden is this one. This is the Sunrise Bumblebee. So it is kind of a cousin of this one. It's another striped tomato, but this one is yellow with red striping. Now, unfortunately, this sample does have a couple imperfections on it. It's not the prettiest of the ones I've gotten off of my plants, but this is what was ripe right now. So we're gonna go with it. But similar idea, but just instead of the green and the red, it's yellow and red flashes across it. Again, good tasting tomato, pretty productive, and it looks really pretty. So I'm liking this one so far this year. Um, let's come down here. So this is another new one for me this year, and it has a similar coloring to the Sunrise Bumblebee, uh, but it is elongated. This is a blush tomato, uh, and I think this one is really cool. Again, the flavor's fine. I like it. It's not my favorite flavor, but it's good. Uh, but what I really like about it is the shape. I think this is really fun, especially if you have a bowl of tomatoes, having this in there with a different shape. I don't know. It just... It looks really pretty. It's a little different than the others, and they look really cool when they're growing on the vine, so I'm liking this one. Um, okay, let's come over here. This is another new one, too. I grew a lot of new varieties this year because I kind of got excited. This is the Indigo Cherry Drop, and this one is really neat because it has this red bottom, and then the top is like this black blue color which is not something you see a lot of with tomatoes uh, so I think this one has a really cool appearance um, flavor is not my favorite it's fine I feel like this one is mostly for the looks it doesn't taste bad it's just nothing remarkable I would say but it looks really awesome so if you want a really cool color and something really different then I think this one is pretty good um, back here, this is my number one favorite cherry tomato. I grow it every single year. This is the black cherry. So this has kind of a brick color. It's got a lot of sweetness, but it still has an acidic flavor as well. I feel like this is like the perfect tomato flavor. I really, really like it. It produces well too, so that's awesome. And this is something that I think I will probably grow in my garden every single year for you know, as long as I can see because it it's just, it kind of hits all the marks for me. I love the way it tastes. Uh, so this is definitely a keeper. And if you're looking for a new variety to grow, I think black cherry is a good one to try. Uh, now on another tomato, this is the sun gold tomato. So all of these that I have here are high or not hybrids. They're heirlooms or open pollinated, except this one. This one is a hybrid. And this is my first time growing it, and I grew it because I had had it before and I knew it tasted really good. So the Sun Gold has this beautiful bright orange color, 
and it also has a super, super sweet flavor. So I would compare it almost to the black cherry, but the black cherry has more acid. This doesn't have much acid to it at all. So if you want a really sweet tomato, this is it. Very, very, very productive. Probably the most productive one in the garden. And it started ripening at the same time as the Mexico midget. So like I said, the Mexico midget is always the first one for me to start but Sun Gold was right with it. I mean, they ripened at just about the same time. So this ripens early, it's very productive, it's beautiful, and it's really tasty. So this is another great one to grow um, and is one that I'll definitely be growing again. And then up here, this funky looking tomato, this is the Brad's Atomic Grape. This is a variety from Wild Boar Farms. They do, Brad Gates, who does Wild Boar Farms, all kinds of different tomatoes that he has, all kinds of different cool colors and combinations, and this is one of them. So this one is, I don't know if you would call it pretty, it's more interesting because it's got kind of this green and then the purple black color and then the red. It looks really weird, uh, and it's got kind of this tapered look. It's not quite as elongated as the blush tomato, but it's definitely not round. Um, this one is really nice as far as looking cool. The flavor is okay. Um, it hasn't been very productive for me this year though. I've only gotten a few. They've been way behind all the other plants. But I've seen other people say that this one is a very productive variety for them. So I kind of don't want to hold it against it just one year of experience because this is the first year I've grown it. I think this is one I will definitely grow again because it is so different and interesting in terms of the way that it looks. And I'll see how it does. Um, maybe they were just in a bad spot this year. Maybe the conditions weren't great this year. Or, you know, maybe I'll grow it a couple times and find that it just doesn't do as well in my area as maybe it does for other people. But this is one that if you're looking for something that looks really funky and interesting and something to talk about, uh, this one's pretty cool and I think I will give it another try in the future. And kind of an honorable mention, I did grow yellow pear tomatoes this year and they started doing okay but then something happened to the plants and they died and they were not having it. So I don't have one of those to show you and I honestly didn't get very many of those to even try. Um, so I don't have any like huge notes on that one. I think I'll try it again because I do like the pear shape and the bright yellow colors. The bright yellow color, I think it really added something to the garden and to my harvest and you know the way everything looked. It's just I like to have that variety again, um, but I don't have one to show you because at this point the plants are just done. And let me know in the comments what kinds of tomatoes are you growing? Do you like any of the varieties that I mentioned today? Are there others that you think I definitely need to give a try and that I'm really missing out on? I would love to hear all of that in the comments. I hope you found this video helpful and if you happen to be new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and videos like this one, then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated and I want to show you how to do it. And if you want to watch some more videos, I have a couple linked over here that you might like. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.